It's important to remember there are two sides to every news story. To make sure you get to see important issues from both sides, we've invited two of our writers who have very different points of view. We will examine their opinions in a second we call Point Counterpoint. <laughs> Ali and Amber, thank you so much for being here today. First topic, despite swirling rumors that Trump is unhappy with Jared Kushner's performance as an advisor, Kushner has affirmed he's not going anywhere. Thoughts, Ali? That's not true. He's going to jail. Listen, everything about this guy is a mess, except for his overexfoliated face. If his weird mannequin hands had big fingerprints, they'd be all over communication with the Russians. Plus, he lied on his disclosure forms and should not still have security clearance. He needs to hightail it out of D.C. as soon as possible. Jared should hightail it out of D.C. Amber. I wish I had a tail that was high so everyone could see it. A big fluffy one like Pepe Le Pew. And you would know how I felt by how my tail looked. Like, if it looked like this, you'd be like, hey, she's ready for fun. But if it looked like this, you'd be like, watch out, she's angry. If, if they're big, wavy, green lines, it means I stink. That would be really helpful. So helpful. <laughs> Next topic. There's now a proposal to roll back net neutrality, which will allow service providers to charge fees for different sites. Bad idea. Alan? Terrible idea. The internet should be a public utility. Otherwise, you're saying only the rich should have access to online information people need for school or work. Also, if a service provider doesn't like the politics of a website, it can block it like that. Like that? Amber? I love it when people snap with every word they say. <laughs> That's how you know they really mean it. It's also just a fun thing to do. Like, who needs to snap to music when you have your opinions? Peanut butter cookies are the best cookies. Chocolate chip or die. This is totally off topic. Oh, off what? I can, I can what? See, what? Off topic. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Moving on. Trump tweeted that time approached him to probably be person of the year, but it would require a lot of extra work, so he passed. Is this another distraction? Alec. It's another example of why he is the biggest idiot on the planet. You cannot overstate the level of this man's pure narcissism. I hope time picks someone who will drive him crazy, like Hillary or Robert Mueller, or his not Ivanka daughter, Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany for person of the year. What do you think, Amber? Oh, let me guess, Amber. You're just going to say something crazy. Actually, Ali, no. I agree with you. You, you do? Yeah. The person of the year should be Tiffany. It's long overdue. I thought she deserved it in 1987. I think we're alone now. It doesn't seem to be anyone around. Not Tiffany the Mall Singer. She's in a mall? Oh no, Tiffany, watch out for Roy Moore! I, I don't even know why we keep doing this segment. Hey, what's wrong, bud? <laughs> what's not wrong? Don't you read the headline? Yeah, I do! And I have a headline for you! Extra, extra, read all about it! Scientists discover the cure for grumpiness! It's <laughs> I win! <laughs> Alright, making progress. Final topic. As more men in media are accused of sexual harassment, they're rightly losing their jobs like Matt Lauer and Charlie Rose. How do we move forward? Give their jobs to women. All right. And so, who would you nominate to take over Charlie Rose's show? I'll do it! Hit it! <laughs> From our studios in New York City, this is Amber Ruffin. Welcome to Amber Ruffin. Seth Meyers is here. He's the host of Late Night with Seth Meyers. And Allie Hort is here. And she has a stick up her butt. Fair. Fair. Tonight we're talking about cookies. Seth, do you like cookies? You know I do. Allie, do you like cookies? Are they gluten-free? They are. They're not. This has been Point Counterpoint. This has been Amber Ruffin. We'll be right back in a minute.